Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Map Making with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You're very, very welcome. It's the third time this week, and hopefully, time permitting, gonna be a squeeze. Might even get a fourth one in tomorrow night. You never know your luck. Well, before we crack on with the time lapse, I just want to do this in regular speed. These tunnel entrances have been annoying me since I put them down, and it's one of those that you go, I will go back and fix that later. Well, later is right now now is that moment rather than do this at quadruple speed or anything stupid there i'm just going to show you there look see perfect very happy very very happy with that now i'm not happy with the tunnel behind it but <laughs> although you can't see it i just wanted to get that there you go i'm much happier with that now i'm going to do something similar over here as well it was a little bit um tweaky that one but still managed to get that one to behave quite happy with all of that work right anyway so regulars will know what's going on uh, if you're here for the first time welcome where have you been it's episode 29 and the map is slowly coming together now today's episode you there's not going to be huge amounts accomplished today when i say huge amounts that there is actually a lot being accomplished but nothing at the end of the episode where you'll go wow Wow, look at the change in that map. You won't be seeing anything like that today. What I'm doing is I'm placing a, a guide for how I'm going to place the trees later on. You see, I'm following the terrain lines here with the trees. And yes, I could just leave the terrain lines switched on and work the trees in from there. But I prefer to start with something physical rather than a guide. And uh, physical is a line of dotted trees. That some of those will survive into the final build and some of those will just uh, will be eliminated same over here only i've made an error here i've uh, suddenly dawned on me that actually the slope goes the opposite direction <laughs> i'm placing trees roughly at the top of the slope and i want them roughly at the bottom of the slope so uh so anyway what is happening today is mostly trees <laughs> in fact in almost apart from that tunnel entrance almost entirely trees we will be doing a little bit of terrain softening, just a little bit. And uh, we will be going across to the Half Moon Island as well to fix something that's just been nagging at me for a little while since I did it. I was very happy when I did it and I'm even happier now that I have um, amended it. So yes, I'm um, putting a few trees on the uh, on the peninsula of that, uh, we call it a peninsula, the end of the the um it's a, it's a hill isn't it basically that's what it is <laughs> sort of it's not it's not really a hill it's sort of like the standard height for this uh, for this island but yes all i'm doing trees as a bit of a guide to where i'm going to want to have lines of trees and banks of trees um yeah it's not going to be much to write home to your mother about i'm afraid so uh yeah what do you do today well i watched bon bon put some trees down well done so proud of you <laughs> yes now i'm just going to do some terrain softening um that line of trees is exactly where i want the line of trees to begin and the terrain softening is just to take the edge off what we're looking at there don't forget each line there is uh, an increment of one meter so uh, I just want to soften that out. I don't want any like one meter drops across the entirety of the map. There will be one or two spaces where yes, it will work. But uh, generally, nice smooth um, drop in the terrain. What we got where the road is there, I see that as being a man, a man made like build, uh, re reclaimed from the, from the sea a little bit there. Because the wetlands you can see is very, very low indeed. So uh, yes, the, uh, the road is on like a slightly raised part of the land. So that uh, flooding hopefully won't be a problem. Also, of course, if you do play with natural disasters and do get a flood, at least your highways are going to sort of like clear because you can see that the water will drain away from the highways. However, you're going to likely be building a lot of your towns on floodplains. So uh, that will drain away a lot more slowly. Just be aware of that. Just be a little bit aware of that. It will slowly... Yeah, it's a problem with building on floodplains. 
in real life and in city skylines. So anyway, that's roughly the lines of the trees where I want them, very roughly. I'm going to flesh them out a little bit in certain places. And I'm going to do the, the magic trick, of course, with Move It, of selecting a small selection of them. Um, a you know, not definitive selection, don't want a particular shape. And now I'm just going to start fleshing those out just a little bit so that it's a bit stronger on the eye. Um, it's something to build it out from. Like with anything, if you start something, it's easier to add to it. If you haven't got something down and just got an idea, well, it remains an idea until you actually physically start doing something with it. <sighs> like my novel. <laughs> like my novel. I think we've, we've all done that. We've got, yes, I'm going to write a novel. I started writing about three times now. And time has always been a problem. I always get about... Um, two to three chapters in and I've done every trick in the book including including my favorite one is uh, not writing it in order having the base storyline fleshed out characters and all that kind of thing and then writing where the inspiration strikes so that you can fill in the gaps later on with chunks of words and stuff and uh, what I thought was going to be chapter one ended up being, well, that, no, actually, that's, that's chapter two. I've got a better idea for chapter one, and you, you get the idea. So, yes, the amount of times that I've started that, I haven't done any writing in a long time, because what map? <laughs> Simply because of this YouTube channel has just sunk its teeth in. Um, and to be honest, I get a lot more... Uh, I get a lot more personal gratification from uh, from doing this than I do from putting the words. I mean, it's it's really nice to get down. Yeah, you know, even if it's just like 150 words, and you get to the end of it and you look at it and you go, "Wow, I like what I've done there." When I've shared my words with other people, surprisingly, they've liked them and they've demanded more. <laughs> I can't give you more. I just can't. I haven't got the time. Or sometimes, of course, you do run out of inspiration. I uh, don't know. Anyway, ignore that. Ignore that. Novel is not likely to happen anytime soon. <laughs> anytime soon. I've been trying to do this for way too many years and it's not happening. So anyway. Anyways, new series. That's the priority. My new series. If I can get uh, get this map finished, then we can crack on. Because I just can't. There's no, there's no time to build the map and to start the new series. It's just not going to happen. But meanwhile, I mean, making a map is, is nice and you guys seem to enjoy it and seem to enjoy me wittering on in the background about what is going on generically in my life. <laughs> try, I try to tell you things that are going on in my life without actually telling you about what's going on in my life because obviously um, I like to retain a little bit of privacy, you know. I, I don't want you knowing about, you know, if I've had a... I don't know, an anal infection. <laughs> I hope you weren't eating. No, I haven't had an anal infection, but I just thought that that's the sort of thing that I wouldn't want to talk about on, on this particular channel. Um, yes, you'll know I did have an infection. I had a, um, I suffered a, a month or so ago with, um, it was a, uh, a skin, inf skin infection where my left leg inflamed up massively and um, it, the infection actually took a toll on me physically as well I, I thought it was just going to be a bit of an issue with like ah ah half moon island <laughs> half moon island yes w what I didn't like about this was having built this part this or this um, road going up the middle or left the impression of a road going up the middle just wanted to see how wide these roads are so I was trying to find a standard size road or something uh, I thought the dirt track would be findable, wasn't that easy. So, uh, yes, anyways, uh, that just gives me an idea of how wide that uh, path is. Yes, I wanted to narrow the path, uh, the, the, the track up a lot to make it more realistic because that was something like about 50 meters, something for even wider than that. But yeah, way, way, way too wide to be a farm track so uh what the second thing this is the one the, the probably the thing where you look at it and you go that's what bonbon bon did today he he made his farm track narrower and he flushed out his um fleshed out his a uh, uh, farm hedges a little bit and that's what i'm doing right now so yes um i will try and kind of, uh, talk to you about what's going on in my life and my thoughts and um 
plans and all that sort of stuff. But equally, equally, there are certain things I, I, I will, I will keep to myself. And some of those things you may be thankful for, <laughs> especially if ever I get an anal infection, which <laughs> isn't on my uh, wish list, and uh, I shouldn't be on your wish list too, <laughs> for me or for you guys. <laughs> Oh, when I started recording this, I never thought I was going to use the word anal more than once, or even once. <laughs> I've used it several times. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, this is an episode you won't forget, isn't it? What did Bonbon do today? Well, he put some trees down, and he talked about his butt. <laughs> oh, hey, perhaps I should start again from the top. Anybody want me to start again from the top? Sorry, I just hit the microphone there. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. All is good. All is good. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in a few of these gaps. Um, I will at some point make a couple of gaps where there would be um, would would have been gates. I uh, don't want it all to be hedges, but um, it's not a priority. Uh, again, once again, this is um, just picking out the little tasks and chores that I feel that I could you know, just get on with in a half hour sit down, because that's all I ever do is a half hour sit down, do half hour here, half hour there, need to take, take a couple of trees out there that were a bit too much. So yes, so yeah, Half Moon Island, um, of course, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to this particular show and wondering what is going on here, now the actual map build is, um, it's a small amount of build plane, it's about four tiles on the main island and then in case you want a little bit more build plane and you play with mods this island is actually just outside of the 25 literally edges onto the edge of the 25 tiles so if you're playing with the unlockables like the 81 tile mod from uh, buddy penguin yeah good for you i applaud you and uh, good yeah let's crack on and have a great time building on a little bit of extra space which is uh, this island and of course most of these hedgerows will be removed by you guys because you're going to be building docks and ports and i don't know <laughs> secondary towns secondary towns on this island here maybe maybe this is where you're going to have like a um a disneyland or something make it into a huge park life kind of area there's a thought we've got that uh, that lake in the middle there yeah or you could just drain the lake and build something else on i don't know hey what would you do what would you what would you do with this island there's my question to you if uh, yeah i've uh, made it specifically so this island will have a shipping route running across the um the Oh, I'm calling the northern edge. One edge of it does have um, a straight edge and a slightly deeper water. So uh, there will be uh, possible docks at uh, the other end of the island, not this end. So, uh, but what would you do with this island? What would you do with the main island? Have you seen enough of the island now to know roughly what it's going to look like by the end? And uh, what would you do? <laughs> uh, is your vision matching my vision? Uh, is there anything that you would change with this map? Is there anything you really don't like? And, you know, there's something that I'm looking at now, I've spent a lot of time working on, that I might be changing substantially, substantially, because it's not quite as perfect as I wanted it to be. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, I'm never happy. <laughs> there's always something to be changed, isn't there? So anyway, uh, pretty much done for today. Let's come back to the main island and have a quick overview again. So yeah, I put down those few lines of trees around uh, the outside of the uh, floodplain basin there. And uh, yeah, when we come back next time, I'll do a little bit more work, probably a bit more work to the foliage in the, in the basin there. Should crack on with that. Anyway, thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Join me tomorrow for What Map and hopefully tomorrow night for another map making.